Before we start the show, please welcome to the stage the Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Palm Springs, Council Member Ginny Fote. Thank you so much. You know, I could not be here tonight because this is, you know, I've been a feminist all my life and, and knowing that Rosie was here, I, I just could not not be here. Uh, because what, what's happened in the world of tennis and for women, we owe so much to, to Rosie. And so um, I wanted to be here for that. Uh, so as a council member, as Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Palm Springs, I have the honor of being able to present a proclamation. So I'm going to do that. And it's gonna, I'm going to try and read it if I have some place to put this mic. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't shrunk that much. No, you're so good. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Thank you. So, Rosie, could you come up? Can you read it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. Yeah. So, I'm not going to read all the whereases because the whereases go on forever and ever. But it <laughs> says, whereas. Tennis Hall of Fame Rosie Casals rose to fame in the 1960s and 70s, breaking into the U.S. Women's Top Five in 1964, where she remained for 11 consecutive years. And whereas Rosie was a member of the original nine group, a group of professional women tennis players led by Billie Jean King, who rebelled against the United States Lawn Tennis Association in 1970, due to the wide inequality between the m amount of prize money paid to male and female players, and uh, which is the same in every industry, but <laughs> there's the pioneer who made a change there. And whereas Rosie and the pioneering women who signed a token $1 contract with Gladys Heldman, founder of the World Tennis Magazine, to set up their own tour of eight tournaments sponsored by Virginia Slims, and were instrumental in the formation of the Women's Tennis Association, WTA, in 1973. And whereas Rosie won the singles title at the first ever Virginia Slims tournament in 1970 in Houston, Texas. And whereas, I'm getting tired just <laughs> with all this stuff. <laughs> the, the whereas, and she won 12 Grand Slam doubles, and she was the winner of the first Family Cup Circle in 1973, earning $30,000, the highest purse ever awarded to a male or female athlete. And whereas Rosie won a total of 112 professional doubles titles. I mean, just all amazing I, I stuff. stuff yeah. right there. That's okay, stuff. so now therefore be it resolved that I, Ginny Fote, Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Palm Springs on this 28th day of October in the year 2017, on behalf of the City of Palm Springs, proudly commend Rosie Casals for exemplary career that brought women's professional tennis to prominence for creating a foundation to support the youth tennis players of the Coachella Valley and for playing a leading role in the development of junior tennis in the desert. So. Let me briefly thank you for this wonderful um, honor. Obviously, it's, it's incredible that I should be honored for doing something that I love to do, and that's tennis. And to um, for our Love and Love Tennis Foundation to be able to share with the youth what, what my uh, career and my experiences were, traveling all over the world, meeting great people, and ending up here with you and this lovely thing that I've gotten this proclamation. I thank you. And before the evening is over, let me thank Michael Haas for hosting us and Jeremy, um, sorry, Michael, Michael Holmes and Jeremy Hobbs for hosting uh, this event for us and Iris Williams. Uh, it's it's going to be a wonderful night and this is even so much more special for me. Thank you. Thank you. And don't, don't leave because I want to tell you that this, this woman is so... She's got so many accomplishments, but one of the accomplishments that she talked to me about 
one of the things that she really credits, and that's her association uh, with Tori. And so, Tori, could you come up, please? other for for many years and and they've shared so many things and this is and this foundation of course is something that they share and something that they love but with Tori we have whereas Tori played collegiate tennis at Occidental College in Los Angeles in 1961 and she won the singles and doubles titles as a national collegiate women's tennis championship and whereas Tori was a member of the US Junior Reitman Cup team in 1962 and whereas in 1965, Tori was a double semifinalist at the U.S. Nationals and won the Ojai Valley Doubles Championship with Billie Jean King. And whereas Tori was ranked in the USTA Top 10 in 1963 to 1966, riding to a career high of number four in 1966. And whereas... <laughs> <laughs> Was that the number five or was that? <laughs> <laughs> and whereas Tori played professional tennis in the Virginia Slim Circuit from 1971 to 1975. And so I'm going to say now therefore be resolved that I, Jenny Fote, may approach him on this 28th day of October in the year 2017 on behalf of the city of Palm Springs proudly commend Tony on, Tor, excuse me, Tori on her distinguished career as a collegiate amateur and professional tennis player and teaching, and teaching pro and for her tireless efforts to promote junior tennis in the Coachella Valley. Rosie and I want to build this game. Which and one you got up? You got up. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, yeah. well, that's <laughs> right, Michael. That's right. All right, Michael. <laughs> that's perfect. But we want to bring this wonderful game of tennis to the kids that can't afford to uh, get private lessons. And we want to start them as early as six or seven. And we're giving uh, free clinics now, thanks to Rosie. It was Rosie's idea to get this going and we're gonna do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 